Good morning, everyone. Good morning, students. Welcome to Baptist Bible Church Santa Mesa. Welcome to our annual University Sunday. We would like to welcome our students who are joining with us today and also to those who are joining us online via Facebook. A blessed good morning to all. Let us all please stand and let's sing our best to our God. On the first verse, ready, sing. Hear ye the Master's call, give me thy best. For be it great or small, that is his test. Do then the best you can, not for reward. For the Lord, every work for Jesus will be blessed. But he asks from everyone his best. Our talents may be few. Second verse, wait not for men to laud, heed not their slight, winning the smile of God brings its delight, aiding the good and true. Night soon comes on apace, day hastens by. Work man and work must face, testing on high. Oh, may we in that day find rest, sweet rest, which God has promise those who do their best for us every work for Jesus will be blessed but he asks from everyone his best our talents may be few Our second song, uh, this is one of my favorite hymns. Let us sing the song in Christ alone. Amen. On the first verse, ready, sing. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ I stand. Second verse. In Christ alone who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness. 
righteousness scorned by the ones he came to save till on that cross as Jesus died the wrath of God was satisfied for every sin on him was laid third verse there in the ground his body lay light of the world by darkness slain then bursting forth in glorious day up from the grave he rose again and as he stands in victory since curse has lost its grip on me for i am his and he is mine bought by the precious blood of christ and all god's people say amen, amen. so may i request everyone to please get their bibles and let, let us open in the book of psalm chapter 10 Verses 12 to 18, to be led by Brother Tim. We'll be reading in unison. Uh, let's open once again to Psalms chapter 10, verses 12 to 18. Let us read. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked contemn God? He hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite. To requite it with thy hand, the poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thine ear to hear. To judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this Sunday, Heavenly Father. And I praise you and thank you for the people who are here, Lord, for the students who have attended. And I pray, Lord, that... Uh, you will guide them in listening to your word and that they may be able to digest, uh, understand and apply uh, the message that we'll be hearing this day, Lord. I pray for the voices of the choir, Lord, which you will be using, Lord, to glorify your name. And uh, may they will be done this day, Lord. We praise and thank you and magnify your name. This I ask and pray in your mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, please be seated as we listen to our choir.
Okay, praise God for that wonderful singing. May I request everyone to please stand as we sing our next song. Let us sing the song, Such Love. On the first verse, ready, sing. That God should love a sinner such as I Should yearn to change my sorrow into bliss Till He had planned to bring me nigh How wonderful is love like this Such love, such wondrous love Such love, such wondrous love That God should love a sinner such as I How wonderful is love like this That Christ should join so freely in the scheme Although it meant His death on Calvary Did ever human tongue find nobler theme than love divine that ransomed me. Third verse. That for a willful outcast such as I, the Father planned, the Savior bled and died. Redemption for a worthless slave to buy, who long had law and grace defied. Such love, such wondrous love, such love, such wondrous love, that God should love a sinner such as I. How wonderful is love like this. You may be seated. Good morning and welcome to Baptist Bible Church. It's glad to see all of you in church as we worship the Lord. It's going to be an exciting day ahead. And we're so glad for all the students that are here today joining us in our service. It's University Sunday here at Baptist Bible Church. So we praise the Lord for uh, all the students that we have this morning. Uh, this is your special day right after the service. You will be going up, up uh, the pit floor and you will have your fellowship. Lunch will be on us. So you, will, you, you will have free lunch that will be... Uh, for us so that we can be able to uh, show our appreciation that you are able to come to, and to join us in our service okay and then also I would like to extend the invitation tomorrow uh, tomorrow it's a holiday so our young people will be having their sports fest so let's watch this video Every Sunday we have a group called our young people. We have a regular meeting every Sunday, two o'clock. So we would like also to invite you on that. So tomorrow will be our sports fest. If you'd like to, to join us, we have a list uh, registration outside. You can list down your name, sign up, so that we can know that you are how many are coming. And also for those who are going to stay here uh, overnight, please make sure you turn in your uh, waiver, uh, uh, fully signed by your parents and guardians, allowing you to stay here in church. Okay. So call time tomorrow is at eight. They are at Dum, Dum, uh, 7, 7, okay? Uh, go there at uh, Dum, Dum, Damka uh, uh, Court here in San Juan. So again, uh, thank you very much. Also, like, uh, better months are here, so we have lots of events going on around the church. Next Sunday, we're going to have the Ladies Fellowship. How many ladies do we have right now? College and up. Yeah, and all the college ladies and up, uh, you are invited. Um, for our uh, Ladies Fellowship this coming Sunday, September 4, 30, right after our service, go directly downstairs at the Tagalog Auditorium. Uh, you will have a wonderful time. 
and you will have a special speaker, uh, Sister Penny Castro, a wife of our missionary in New Zealand. She will be with you and talking to you how to make the right choice. Mabuti na lang, tama yung choice ng asawa ko. He, he said yes to me. Yeah, ayos ba? Okay, so make the right choices and you'd like to make the right choices in life. Please, all the ladies, uh, we'd like to invite you to come this coming Sunday. And then the following Sunday, September 11, is Grandparents Day. How many grandparents do we have right now? Okay, grandparents. Okay, that will be your special day, September 11. So we'll have a booth for you. You can have your pictures taken with the whole family. And uh, for those of you youngsters, invite your grandparents to come to church so that they can be, we will be able to recognize them. And how about if your parent, grandparents already gone? Maybe you know somebody, your sari sari store, yung sangkain mo mimile, your suking tindahan, yung suking nyo, yung kilala nyo, kapit bahay nyo. You can invite them to church and then tell them, I want you to come with me to church, grandparents, Lolo, Lola, and I would like you to come with me to church and to honor you on that special day. It's Grandparents Day. And then on the last Sunday of September, that will be our Friend Day. Okay, so we have three events this coming September. Uh, Friend Day is an annual event in our church so that you can invite your friends. So we're glad that our church is full. We praise the Lord for that. And you can bring your uh, friends on Friend Day. That will be on the last Sunday of September. Uh, bring your friends to be with you. So again, we would like to also to extend the invitation, please. I hope that this will not be the first, not the last, but it will be the first of the many uh, Sundays that you will be with us. Okay, so may I request all our first-time visitors to, to stand. This is your first time to, be, to uh, attend Baptist Bible Church. All the, uh, this is your first time. Whether you're a student or a professional, can you please stand up? Okay, so thank you very much. We praise the Lord for that. How about in the extension, in the extension area, in our left side, uh, in the right side? Okay, so we praise the Lord for that. Thank you. Please be seated. And uh, later we'll go, you will be singing our welcome song. And uh, right now, we will be uh, recognizing the schools uh, represented by different students. So we praise the Lord for uh, attending. Uh, we have on our list uh, 11, uh, 11 uh, 16, 16 universities, college universities, and 23 uh, high schools, uh, schools that are being represented today. And as call your school, may I request all the students to please stand up and clap your hands to give uh, to your school the recognition. Okay, let's start with the high school department, uh, uh, schools, high schools, high schoolers. Okay, first on our list, we have San Juan Senior High School. San Juan. Okay. Thank you very much. Next, we, we have Jesus Reigns Christian Academy. Okay, thank you. Next, we have Quirino High School. Thank you. Next, we have Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Yeah! Alma mater ko yan. Alma mater ko yan. Okay. Pati si Brother Dan. Da? Okay. So, we're glad to have you. Next, we have Adamson University. Okay. Next, we have Bimapa High School. Thank you very much. And... Antonia Maceda, Antonio Maceda High School. Thank you. And then, uh, Jay Vest Senior High School. La Best, okay. Then Sacred Heart of Jesus Catholic School. Thank you. We have Iris High School. Carlos Alberta High School. Wow! Thank you. And then, Santiago Integrated National High School. And then, Santa Isabel uh, College of Manila. Nasaan po yun? San okay, nandun pala. Okay. And then, St. Uh, 
Las Piñas National High School. National Science High School. Yan, okay. St. John's Academy. St. John. Good Shepherd Christian School. Yan, si Luan. Arellano University. Yan, okay. Arellano University. Manila Science High School. Yun. Okay, thank you. Don Bosco School of Manila. Okay. Valenzuela National High School. Okay, thank you. Philippine School of Tomorrow. Thank you. Ephesians Christian Academy. And then Santiago Integrated National High School. I think I already mentioned that. San, uh, anyway, Santiago Integrated uh, National High School. Opa? Okay. Now we go to the college level. First, we have Asia Baptist Bible College. Okay. This is a ministry of, of our church. Preparing God's people for God's work. Next, we have Adamson again University. Quezon City High School. Emilio Aguinaldo College. Okay. And then Rizal Technological University. RTU. Central Colleges of the Philippines. Yan, CCP. And then, St. Jude College of Manila, of Philippines. Okay, St. Jude. And then, AMA University. AMA. Far Eastern University. Pamantasang Lungsod ng Maynila, PLM. St. Luke's College of Medicine. Centro Escolar University. Pamantasang Lunsod ng Valenzuela. Philippine Cultural College, Quezon City. And then UP, University of the Philippines, Diliman. And then last but not the least, Lyceum of the Philippines. Okay, so we're glad to have all of you. Let's all please stand up and let's sing our welcome song. And as we sing our welcome song, we would like to request all the students to please come forward here at the stage. Okay, as we sing the welcome song, all students come up here on stage. Amen. Okay, as we sing our welcome song, all students please come up to the stage. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here, hallelujah. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. Ligaya ng buhay, kung kilala mo si Kristo. Ay manunubos mo, babaguhin ang yung buhay kung siya ay kakamtan. Ang maging kay Kristo ay tunay na ligaya ng buhay. You may be seated. Praise the Lord for the students. Nile, we would like to get one of our men, Brother Dan Lontok, to lead the prayer for the students. Again, we want to welcome all the students here. and want to also thank you for, for being here. And I hope that uh, this my visitors, this, this would the beginning of you guys to come here in our church. You're always welcome here. Okay, so 
Let's have a special prayer for you guys. Okay, let's pray. Our dear God and Heavenly Father, again, we are so grateful and thankful for this day, O oh Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for each and every student that is here. Lord, I just pray that, that, that you would guide them, Lord, as they, they, as they study, Lord. And I just pray that um, your Holy Spirit will be the one to speak to their hearts, Lord. Lord, I especially pray for um, this morning, if there are students here, young people here are that not yet saved, who doesn't know you as their personal Savior. Lord, I just pray that even today you would speak to their hearts, O oh Lord. And I pray, Lord, for especially for your message this morning, your messenger, Lord, that you would uh, really use him in a very special way, that you would see a lot of young people that are not yet saved would come to know thee as their personal Savior. Lord, just pray for, again, for them, Lord, that they would be good students. I just pray, Lord, that they would be good young people, that they would um, be obedient to their, their parents, Lord. And again, we just pray that you would, uh, again, bless our worship time this morning, Lord. Again, we commit this service to thee. Lord, we just pray that all the praises and the glory would be to you, O Lord. For in Christ, let me pray. Amen. Thank you. And you may come down now. Thank you. Take your seat. And give a big hand. Okay, yung saya, stay lang for your special number.
Amen. Were you blessed by the message of the choir? Amen. Truly, Jesus never fails. At yan po ang pangalan na ipinoproklama natin sa pulpitong ito. Jesus is our Savior. We are happy to have everyone here with us this morning, especially the students. And we hope that by the end of this service, as you join us in our worship to our God, you would be able to know more about Jesus Christ. And if you have not yet met Jesus Christ and believe in Him, as the Savior, we hope that by the end of this service, you will make that very important decision. The title of our message for this morning is, Why Jesus is the True Shepherd. Why Jesus is the True Shepherd. Bakit si Jesus Cristo ang tunay na pastol? May I request everyone to stand up and get your Bibles. Ang pag-aaralan po natin ay nakabase sa ating final authority, which is the Word of God. Let's turn to John chapter 10. May I request everyone to stand up at kunin niyo po yung mga Bibles niyo. Babasahin natin. The verses are also flashed on the screen for you to read. And uh, the members are also willing to share with you their Bibles if you want to read from the actual uh, the Bibles that we have. So let's all together read chapter 10 verse 11. Ready? Begin. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And then verse 14, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. Please join me in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful morning that you have given to us. And we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity for your saints to gather together in your house to worship you and to learn from your word and to exhort one another. We thank you, Lord, for our guests who have joined us for this morning. We ask, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will be our guide throughout all the things that we are going to do. In every word that you're going to say, guide me, Lord. And we hope, Lord, that we would be able to know a lot from your word. And if there is anyone who has not yet professed their faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, we ask, Lord, that you use our uh, ministries and this opportunity for that person and those people to know about Jesus Christ as their Savior. Again, Lord, empower us throughout all the things that we are going to do for today. All these things I pray in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated po. Again, the title of the sermon that we're going to have for this morning is Why Jesus is the True Shepherd. Now, you can look at the screen. I have placed there a picture of a sheep. Okay? Are you all familiar with sheep? Hindi po common yung sheep dito sa Pilipinas, pero in the province also, they have started raising sheep alongside goats and other animals. Okay? And sheep are very lovable and cute little creatures. It's not that uh, common for people to be hateful of this wonderful animal. And we will be talking a lot about sheep for this morning. Now, going back po dun sa passage na ating binasa sa John chapter 10, Jesus Christ was the one who said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. It is important for us to understand what is going on in this passage. Bakit nasabi ni Heso Kristo itong mga binasa natin dun sa mga tao? Well, we understand that Jesus is God the Son. He is God in human flesh. And during this time po, Jesus Christ has become popular among the people. One of the reasons why Jesus has become popular is because He has shown a lot of miracles that no other person can do. Nakapaggawa po si Jesus Cristo ng mga milagro na talagang nakapag-akit sa napakarami mga tao. He was able to turn the water into wine. Aside from the numerous miracles that Jesus Christ has done, and only the Son of God would be able to do such miracles. And that is why He gained the attention of a lot of people. Who is this Jesus from Nazareth? Why is He able to do these things? Dumadami yung tagasunod ni Heso Kristo. And not only are His miracles causing the people to pay attention to Him, but also His words. How He interacts with people draws the people to Him. The people were very curious. It's like Jesus Christ was this celebrity during that time. The people followed Him. But there was a group of people who did not like Jesus Christ, 
who was this sort of bashers, this group of bashers who did not like Jesus Christ. These are the Pharisees. The Pharisees disapprove of what Jesus Christ is doing. The Pharisees were the religious leaders at that time. And they hated Jesus Christ so much that at one instance, they tried to hurt Him by stoning Him. Ganon sila kagalit kay Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ for them was a fraud. Jesus Christ for them was a blasphemer. He had to be stopped. He had to be exposed for the fraud that He is. Now in John chapter 9, before the chapter that we read, what happened was Jesus Christ made a blind man see. Isang bulag po ang nakakita ng dahil sa kapangyarihan ni Heso Kristo. And so the, the Pharisees were curious again. Sabi nila, paano na naman nangyari ito? And so they approached Jesus Christ and interrogated Him. They wanted to expose Him. They wanted to make sure that Jesus Christ is the fraud that He thinks or that they think He is. Paano po tumugon si Jesus Christ? How did Jesus Christ respond to them? He responded to them by telling them that He is the true and the good shepherd of His sheep. Now, let's look at verse 1. The, point of, the first point of our sermon this morning, Jesus is known by His sheep. Paano po tayo makasisigurado na si Heso Kristo ang tunay na pastol ng kanyang mga inaalaga ang tupa? na hindi siya isang tao na nagpapanggap lamang, na siya ang Diyos na ibinigay ng Diyos Ama upang magdala ng kaligtasan para sa mga tao. One of the things that we can see is that He is known by His sheep. Kilala po siya ng kanya mga tupa. Let's look at John chapter 10, verse 1 and let's read. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climb it up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. So, Jesus Christ is emphasizing that he is the true shepherd of his sheep. He is not like a thief or a robber. Because he is known by the sheep whom he is taking care of. Hindi po siya kawatan, hindi siya magnanakaw. Now we know that there have been reported recently a lot of crimes. A lot of um, mga nakawan na naririnig natin. Yung mga snatchan, yung pandurukot. Napakarami pong krimen na naririnig natin na nauuso na naman ngayon. And that is why a lot of us have gained somewhat a fear every time we see a white van. Di ba? May puting van po. Lahat tayo ay eh, natatakot. Baka kikidnapin tayo. Danger is all around us and we understand that. But the same is true for the sheep during the time of Jesus Christ. The sheep were always in danger. The sheep can not only be eaten by wolves and other animals, but sheep can also be stolen. Yung mga kawatan po nung panahon na yon, yung mga magnanakaw, yung mga thief, sila yung mga nagnanakaw ng patago. Diba? Hihintay nila na hindi ka nakatingin or susiguraduhin nila na hindi sila mauhuli at magugulat ka na salisihan ka na. Nabawasan na yung iyong mga tupa. And there are also robbers, mga brigands. These are people who use violence in order to get what they want. Kung sa terminology po natin, ito yung mga snatcher. Ito yung mga hold upper na harap-harapan kang nanakawan. Jesus Christ said that He is not like a thief and a robber because He is known by His sheep. Kilala po si Heso Kristo ng kanyang mga tupa at kaya hindi kinakailangan ni Heso Kristo na dumaan kung saan-saan pa siya ay dadaan sa pintuan. That's what He said. Thieves and robbers do not want to be caught and so they get sheep without going through the main door of the sheepfold. Paano nila kukunin yung mga tupa sa da ibang daanan sila dadaan? Sisiguraduhin nila na hindi sila nakikita ng mga tagapagbantay ng pinto. But Jesus Christ did not have to hide himself because he was not a fraud. He is the true shepherd of the sheep who goes through the main door and the sheep is familiar with Him. The sheep know Him. Hindi kinakailangan ni Heso Kristo maging mapagpanggap. 
Jesus Christ did not need to sneak into the sheepfold. He goes through the main door because He is the true shepherd. And once He enters the sheepfold, the sheep will not be alarmed by His presence because the sheep knows that Jesus is the shepherd. The Pharisees were angry at Jesus at that time because they, really, they truly believed that Jesus Christ is another fake person. But Jesus Christ is not a fake person. He is not a fake, a fraudulent man. He is whom He said He is. Sinabi nga ni Manong kanina, Jesus Christ claimed, I am that I am. Before Abraham was, I am. This is the reason why the Pharisees were so angry with Jesus Christ because for them, He was claiming to be God. But Jesus is truly God. He is known by His sheep. Another reason why Jesus Christ is known by His sheep. Let's continue reading. Verse 3 ng John chapter 10. To Him, the porter opened it and the sheep hear His voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. So another reason that Jesus Christ is emphasizing or by which Christ is emphasizing that he is the true shepherd is because the sheep know his voice. Maaring nung mga maliliit tayo na bata, when we were little kids, we were told, do not talk to Strangers, di ba? Huwag niyo kakausapin yung mga hindi niyo kilala. And when someone is knocking on the door and the voice that you hear is a strange voice, you are not to open the door. You are not to answer the door if you hear a voice that you are not familiar with. Now, the same thing is true with sheep. Sheep are considered as somewhat dumb animals. But here's the thing. Sheep are not as dumb as we think. Ang mga tupa po ay mga napakamatalino talagang mga hayop. And one of the reasons why scientists believe that sheep are as smart or not as dumb as some people think, they are smart animals. Sheep can recognize the voice of their shepherd. Naaalala nila yung boses ng nangangalaga sa kanila. At kapag nakarinig sila ng ibang boses, a stranger's voice, they will not follow the stranger's voice. They will follow the voice of their shepherd. The Pharisees were, were perplexed as to why there were a lot of people who was following Jesus Christ. For them, Jesus Christ was just fooling the people. But Jesus Christ was emphasizing, I am the good shepherd. I am their shepherd. They know me. As I have said earlier, sheep might be considered as somewhat dumb animals because they do not have survival instincts like the other animals that we know of. May mga animals dyan na pabayaan mo lang, magsusurvive yung mga yan. Sheep are very dependent with their uh, flock. That's how they protect themselves. Sheep, whenever there is danger, what do sheep do? Anong ginagawa ng mga sheep? Magtatakbuan sila, magkukumpulan sila in order to protect themselves. And because of years of domestication, sheep have also developed a sense of dependence on their shepherd. Yes, sheep have become so dependent on their shepherd that because it is the shepherd who truly takes care of the sheep. Kapag yung sheep ay nagugutom, sino nagpapakain? Yung shepherd. Kapag yung sheep ay malapit ng maligaw, sino ang nag-aakay sa kanya? Yung shepherd. Kapag yung sheep ay nagkasakit, sino ang nag-aalaga sa kanya? Yung shepherd. Sheep are very dependent with their shepherd. And that is why whenever sheep hears a stranger's voice, they run from that or they do not recognize the stranger's voice. And there are videos that we have seen in social media recently wherein people have tested. Susubukan kong tawagin niya mga sheep na yan kung susunod sila sa akin. And then they shout. Tinawag nila yung mga sheep. The sheep were not answering. But when the shepherd came, and when the shepherd called out to the sheep, anong ginawa ng mga sheep? 
nagtakbuhan sila papunta doon sa shepherd. Because sheep recognize the voice of their true shepherd. And even though the people attempted to emulate the voice of the shepherd, they did not succeed because sheep only follow the voice of the shepherd. They are very dependent on their shepherd because it is the shepherd who provides them safety. It is the shepherd who assures them that they will be safe. Any other strange sound that they hear might cause them to be alarmed. They would flee to those strange sounds, but whenever they hear the voice of their shepherd, they are assured. There is an assurance that they will be taken care of. And that is why when we remember the shepherd's psalm, Psalm 23, are you familiar with Psalm 23? And many of us have memorized that. Can we recite it together? Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leadeth me, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That psalm rings true to us who are the followers of Christ. We know that we have a shepherd who is taking care of us, who will not depart from us. Kapag may kinakailangan tayo, meron tayong pastol na mag-aalaga sa atin, nadadalhin tayo sa tubig kung saan tayo ay makakainom na maayos, nadadalhin tayo sa, sa mga madamong lugar kung saan tayo ay makakakain na maayos, at doon sa tubigan kung saan tayo ay makakainom na maayos at matiwasay. The Pharisees really doubted Jesus Christ, but here Jesus Christ is saying, My sheep know my voice. Jesus is the true shepherd and we know this because his sheep recognize his voice. Another way by which Jesus Christ emphasized that he is known by his sheep is that he is the door. Let's go back to what we are reading. Verse 7, Then said Jesus unto them, again, verily, verily, that means he is saying that this is the truth. Ito yung katotohanan. Sabi ni Jesus, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. So here we see Jesus Christ talking to the Pharisees who are inter interrogating him. They want to find fault with Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is proving that He is the true shepherd through this parable. He not only differentiated Himself from the robbers and thieves, He not only emphasized that the sheep know Him, but He is also saying here that He is the door. So we cannot say that Jesus Christ is like any other fake leaders out there who would claim shepherding over the flock. He is not like any fake religious leader who claims protection over the sheep. Jesus Christ is the door, is Him expressing exclusivity. Sinabi ni Heso Kristo na Siya ang daan at nag-iisang daan. Maaring narinig natin yung katagang yan, napakaraming daan patungo sa Diyos. Napakaraming daan patungo sa langit. Narinig nyo na po yan? But here, Jesus Christ is saying, I am the door. Jesus Christ differentiates himself from the rest of the fraudulent and fake religious people during that time. It is only through Jesus Christ that we can access forgiveness from God. John 3.16, a very common verse among all of us. Let's recite it. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Tanging si Kristo ang daan dahil siya ang tunay na pastol ng kanyang mga tupa. Jesus Christ again emphasizing that He is the only way is a strong claim or was a strong claim for Him to make during that time. He already said in the previous chapter sa mga Pharisees, Before Abraham was, I am. At nagalit yung mga Pariseo because that is a declaration from a person that He is God. And here, Jesus Christ is saying again, I am the door. Sa akin lang daraan ang mga tao upang makakamit ng kaligtasan. John 14, 6. If you're, let's turn there. You're John in John and Drin naman. So let's turn to John 14, 6. Jesus Christ is again claiming. He said, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the true Savior. He is the true God. Let us not look for God in any other place because we have Jesus Christ, the revealed God, as Brother Rio Ben has emphasized in our Sunday school. God in flesh, that is none other than Jesus Christ. But the Pharisees did not want to believe Him. But Jesus Christ here is explicitly saying, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. May kanta po yan sa Sunday school. And I want you to join me. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. His banner over me is love. Okay, kantayin natin. Jesus is the way. Ready? Sing. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Over me is love. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the shepherd. Jesus is the shepherd, and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the shepherd, and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the shepherd, and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Pwede po natin ituro yan sa mga anak natin para maritain nila itong mga katotohanan na ito na tinuturo natin sa simbahan na ito. So Jesus Christ is again emphasizing He is the true shepherd. He is known by His sheep. He does not enter the sheepfold like a thief or a robber because the sheep recognize Him. The sheep recognize His voice. And He is the door by which sheep can enter into safety and by which the sheep can go out and graze freely in the pastures. Wala na pong ibang daan patungo sa Diyos kung di si Heso Kristo lamang. And then the next part that Jesus Christ emphasized, not only is Jesus Christ known by His sheep, but He gives His life for His sheep. Jesus gives His life for His sheep. That's the second point. Let's go back to John chapter 10. John chapter 10 verse 11. And then let's read verse 11. Ready? Begin. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. So we see here Jesus Christ is emphasizing that he is just not any ordinary shepherd as some religious uh, leaders would act. He is not an ordinary shepherd. He is the good shepherd. Jesus Christ being good and righteous means that he is holy. He is blameless. There is no other shepherd that we could look for but Jesus Christ. Christ. He is morally perfect. He is distinct from the rest of us. He is kind towards His people. Through Jesus Christ, we can enjoy the love of God. He is the good shepherd. And then let's continue reading verse 12. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd who owns, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. 
and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. So Jesus Christ is emphasizing, I am a shepherd, the good shepherd. Ibahin natin si Jesus Christo sa mga napakarami mga tao na nag act as though they are the shepherd of the sheep. That they are acting as though they are sent from God. It is only Jesus Christ who was sent by God to be the way of salvation for sinners. And here, He is differentiating Himself. Hindi ako katulad ng mga hireling. What is an hireling? Ito yung mga binabayaran ng mga tao para mag-alaga ng tupa. Okay? Jesus Christ sets Himself apart from hireling. Hirelings, yes, they take care of the sheep, but only for money. That's how they earn. So nakikita nyo yung sheep na yan, di ba? Napaka-cute, di ba? Nasarap alagaan. Di ba? Yung mga ng sheep na yan. So, Hirelings, they are paid to do whatever they want to do or whatever they have to do. They assist the shepherd. But it does not make sense if hirelings would love the sheep so much that they would give their own lives for it. Kapag dumating na yung mga lobo, yung masasamang uh, animals, or yung mga magnanakaw na gustong saktan yung mga tupa, anong gagawin ng mga hireling? Dahil binayaran lang naman sila upang mag-alaga, tatakbo na lang sila. They were not paid to give their own life for the sheep. Binayaran sila para lang mag-alaga ng mga tupa. So whenever there is danger, whenever people have come to take the sheep away, whenever there are wolves or lions who are trying to eat the sheep, the hirelings would normally run. They would save their own lives. Why? Binayaran lang naman sila. That's not part of their job to give their own life for the sheep. Aanuhin ba nila yung mga tupang yan? Hindi naman sa kanila yan. But the shepherd of the sheep will give his own life to defend his sheep. That is why Jesus Christ is differentiating himself. Ibahin natin si Jesus dun sa mga tao na nagpapanggap na sila ay sugo ng Diyos, na sila ang may karapatan upang mangalaga sa mga tao ng Diyos. There have been so many religious leaders and even charlatans, not in the past but even in the present, who have claimed to have a sense or an aspect of deity. There have been many who have claimed that they have been sent from God. And we have also some of these charlatans here in our country who are professing that they are God and that they need to be worshipped. They are frauds. They are not sent from God. These frauds enjoy bossing over people. These frauds enjoy abusing people and making money out of them. But not many of them, if not all of them, would be willing to risk their own life for their followers. Iba si Jesus Christ. He is the shepherd who will give his own life for his sheep. Not just one favorite sheep, not just two favorite sheep, he will give his life for his flock. Sino po sa atin ang may pets? May mga alagang hayop. Okay? Raise your hand. Kung pag may kayo may mga pets. Okay? Mga pets. Okay? Sino yung may dogs? Taas ang kamay. Dogs. Okay? Madami yung dogs. What about cats? Cat people. Okay? Mukhang mas marami yung dog people. Okay? Now let me ask you, do you love your pets? Mahal natin yung mga pets natin, di ba? Because we own them, we treat them even as family. We take care of them, we give them names. Kapag nagkakasakit sila, dinadala sa hospital. Minsan yung pagkain nila, mas masarap pa sa pagkain natin. Ganun natin sila kamahal. Now what about Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ expressed His love for His sheep by saying that I give my life for my sheep. You might be loving your pets. You might be one of those who would be willing to risk their life to defend their pets. But what about the pets of other people? <laughs> Handa ba kayo na isuga lang yung buhay para iligtas yung mga alaga ng ibang tao? Mapapaisip tayo. Teka, teka, may mga anak pa ako. Okay? May future pa ako. But Jesus Christ again expresses that He is the true shepherd because He is willing to give His own life for his sheep whom he loves so, so much. Jesus Christ has shown his love, the love of God expressed there on the cross when he died for the sins of sinners. Jesus Christ was innocent of the crimes that he paid for, but he paid for them nonetheless. 
He died as though He was the one who committed those sins. That is why He is referred to as the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ took upon Himself the sins of sinners and paid for them fully so that sinners would be able to enjoy salvation from God. Romans 5.8 tells us, But God commended His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It is not that hard for us to realize and understand that we are sinners. Sino po ba sa atin makapagsasabi, wala akong kasalanan? Wala akong kasalanan. Lahat tayo nagkasala. Lahat tayo ay guilty before God. Lahat tayo deserving ng condemnation. But because God is love, He has offered forgiveness through those or through Jesus Christ. And He has offered forgiveness to those who will get that gift of salvation from Jesus Christ. Let's continue reading. Verse 14 of John chapter 10. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am no of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore, that my Father love me because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man take it, it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. So from these verses, we can see that truly Jesus Christ is who He claimed He is. He is the Son of God, and He is God the Son. We must not looking for salvation from any other person apart from Jesus Christ Himself. He is the one sent from God to bear the sins of sinners and to pay for the sins of sinners. Without a doubt, Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd. He is the true Shepherd of His sheep. As we draw near our closing, here are some important application points for us to consider. Just two. Number one, those who are His sheep should never fear abandonment. Let me repeat that. Those who are His sheep should never fear abandonment. Kung tayo po ay tumanggap kay Heso Kristo bilang ating tagapagligtas, the Bible tells us that those who profess their faith in Christ can enjoy eternal life with Him. They are treated as sons of God, as children of God. We are the sheep for whom Christ died. And because God, Jesus Christ, is our shepherd, we must never fear that He will abandon us. In times of need, in times of sorrow, in times of loneliness, we might think that no one cares for us. But that is not true if you profess your faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the shepherd who will take care of you, who will provide for your needs, who will be with you through trying times, who will strengthen you and encourage you, who will give you encouragement and strength to continue through the power of the Holy Spirit. Marami yung tao natatakot, ay, baka masyado ako makasalanan, baka bawiin ng Diyos yung kaligtasan. No! If salvation has been offered by Jesus Christ, it is sure. Kapag kinuha nyo na yung kaligtasan mula kay Heso Kristo at naniwala kayo sa Kanya bilang tagapagligtas, sigurado kayo na mapapatawad na. Kasi si Heso Kristo na ang nagbayad ng kasalanan natin. Kaya ang sinabi ni Jesus Christ, let's look again at John chapter 10. Let's read verse 27. Anong sabi ni Jesus Christ? My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Napaka-interesting nung ginamit na illustration ng verses, no? Ano sabi, sabi ng verse? Tayo ay nasa kamay ni Heso Kristo. At walang iba pa makakapag-agaw sa atin mula sa kamay ng Diyos. Ganyan tayo ka-secure sa Kanya. Hindi tayo, hindi na, natin papagbayaran yung mga kasalanan na ginawa natin dahil binayaran na ito ni Yeso Kristo. 
At bukod sa kapatawaran, si Heso Kristo din ay nagbibigay ng buhay na walang hanggan. Only through Jesus Christ, there is security. We are safe in the hands of our God. That is why if we are His sheep, kung tayo ay tupa na sumusunod sa tunay na pastol, there is the comfort that God will never abandon us. And even if hardships come and they will come, even if trials come, let us know that we have a shepherd who will take care of us and who will be with us. Jesus Christ will never fail you. So please do not reject Him if you do not have, have not yet accepted Him as Savior. Those who are His sheep should never fear abandonment. And the last one, those who are His sheep will hear His voice. Yung mga Pharisees, nagtataka sila, kung totoo na ikaw ang Diyos, bakit hindi kami naniniwala sa'yo? But Jesus Christ told them, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Kilala ako ng aking mga tupa. And so whenever the gospel message is proclaimed, what is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that Jesus Christ, God the Son, has come here on earth and lived a perfect life. He did not sin. Hindi siya nagkasala, but He died there on the cross because this is the plan of God to provide salvation and forgiveness for guilty sinners. There on the cross, Jesus died for sinners. Tayo yun. That is why it is important for us to trust in Him alone for salvation. We have sinned against God. We cannot save ourselves. It is only Jesus Christ who is our true hope who is our true salvation. And that is why we cling to Him as shepherds or as sheep depending on their shepherd. If you are His sheep, you will respond positively to the gospel. We who are sinners need Jesus Christ. Do not be proud in saying, hindi ko kailangan si Yesu Cristo, okay naman ako sa buhay ko because one day you will face God. And either you will be considered as one of His sheep or as one of those people who have not professed their faith in Him. Either you are in Christ or you are not. Romans 6.23 tells us, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Tanging si Kristo lang po ang daan patungo sa Diyos. Tanging si Heso Kristo lang ang kaligtasan. Siya lang ang pangalan na itataas natin dito sa pulpito at wala nang iba pang pangalan. Tanging ang pangalan lang ng ating tagapagligtas. Jesus Christ died to provide salvation for us sinners. Will we turn to Him for salvation? Will we profess our faith in Him? Will we consider ourselves as sinners who are dependent and in need of Him? Will we trust Him as our Savior? He is not dead, He is risen. And one day, He will judge humanity. What will be your response? Didinggin mo ba ang panawagan ng iyong pastol o itatakwil mo siya? You have a choice. Will you hear the voice of the shepherd or will you reject it? Please stand as we have our invitation. Brother Mon will sing the first verse first and I want us to use this time to reflect on the truths that has been proclaimed from this pulpit this morning. All to Jesus I surrender All to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live. I surrender all. I surrender all. All. The gospel has been given. 
na iproklama po ang Ibanghelyo na ang, ito ang mensahe na ating pinahahalagahan sa simbahang ito. Ang mensahe na si Heso Kristo, ang Diyos Anak, ay nagkatawan tao at namuhay dito sa mundo na perpekto ang kanyang buhay. Nandito siya hindi lang para magbigay ng inspirasyon, na parito siya sa mundo upang magbigay ng kaligtasan sa mga nangangailangan. Ang mga tao ay nagkasala sa kanya, ang mga tao ay hindi kayang iligtas ang kanilang sarili. Kinakailangan nila magtiwala kay Heso Kristo. Ang tanong ko sa iyo sa araw na ito, nagtiwala ka na ba kay Heso Kristo bilang iyong tagapagligtas? Siya ba ang iyong Panginoong tagapagligtas o isa lang siya sa mga napakaraming Diyos na iyong sinasamba? Pag-isipan mo mabuti, hindi mo kayang iligtas ang sarili mo. Magtiwala ka kay Heso Kristo lamang dahil siya ang tunay na tagapagligtas. Kung kinakailangan mo ng paglilinaw, marami tayo mga kasama dito mula sa ating simbahan na ibibigay sa inyo ang kasiguraduhan mula sa Biblia tungkol sa kaligtasan. Si Heso Kristo lang ang tunay na tagapagligtas na ating dapat sampalatayanan. At para naman po sa, mga ta- sa atin na mga ligtas na, para sa atin din ang mensaheng iyon, Nagtitiwala ba tayo kay Heso Kristo bilang ating pastol o nakalimutan na natin na may nag-aalaga sa atin? Itinatapon ba natin ang ating sarili sa Kanya sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay o nagsosolo tayo? Hindi natin ginugunita ang kaligtasan na binigay niya sa atin, hindi natin inaalala ang kalakasan na maaari manggaling sa Kanya. Pag-isipan po natin yan. As Brother Mon sings the second verse, hymn number 394 in your hymn books, I Surrender All. All to Jesus I surrender humbly at His feet I bow. Worldly pleasures all forsaken take. Sigurado ka na ba sa iyong kaligtasan? verse a little bit faster I surrender all have you surrendered your all all to Jesus I surrender make me Savior holy thy let me fill the Holy Spirit told me know that thou art mine malapit pa po. Paano, paano po kayo? Tapusin po natin ang araw na ito na sumasampalataya sa totoong tagapagligtas. Okay. Thank you, Brother Mon. You may be seated as we have our offering. Ang ating offering po ay isa sa mga paraan ng Baptist Bible Church sa sa ating pagsamba at ito po ay para sa mga miyembro lamang. Ang mga miyembro po ay nagagalak na magbigay dahil ito ang kakanilang kaparaanan upang sila ay makapagsamba sa Diyos. Ang mga bisita po ay hindi obligado na magbigay dahil ito po ay uh, paraan, kaparaanan ng ating pagsamba. Manalangin po tayo. Ang manaming Diyos makapangyarihan sa lahat. Salamat po sa mga uh, hinayaan nyo sa amin na matutunan sa umagang ito. Sa panahong ito, Panginoon, bigyan niyo po kami ng uh, kalakasan at uh, uh, sasambahin po namin kayo sa aming pagbibigay. Uh, pagpalaan niyo po ang aming mga regalo, Panginoon, para sa ikalalaganap ng Ibanghelyo. At gamitin niyo po kami, Panginoon, sa mga susunod pa po na araw upang sa, sa gayon ay mabigyan namin ng kataasan ng iyong pangalan. Ito po ang aming samat na langin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen.
time, we would like to present to you candidates for baptism. So they have uh, accepted the Lord as, they, as their Savior and they would follow, want to follow the Lord in the waters of baptism. Now, baptism doesn't save you. In our church, we do not baptize in pants. When you come to know the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior, the next step is to be baptized. This is a public testimony that you believe in the death, the burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay? So we would like to present to you uh, our three uh, sisters who would like to follow the Lord, or three brethren who would like to follow the Lord in the waters of baptism. Irene Luan Garcia. Uh, Jewel Sekaina Viray and Dale Emmanuel Viray. Okay, so they, uh, also uh, if you grew up in church, that doesn't mean that you're a Christian. You must also accept the Lord as personal Savior. We have known them for so many years. They grew up in church. They still have to come to know the Lord as their personal Lord and Savior. So I would like to request Sister Irene who will all to go to give their testimony. Good morning, I am Irene Luan Garcia. I was saved at October at the age of five years of, at the age of five. My dad saved uh, my dad shared the gospel to me. Jesus is, is the only one who can save you from your sins and being baptized cannot save you from your sins. It is the only way to show your faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, also, those of you who are in favor to accept them in the church as members by virtue of baptism, let me hear you a good say, Amen. 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 So they will be baptized next Sunday. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so we praise the Lord for, what the, for all the things that have uh, what happened and the results of this uh, university. And again, I would like to thank all the students who came. And uh, right after the service, we are going to go upstairs for you to have your fellowship. And also for those visitors that we have are not, who are not students, we have also a special place downstairs. We call it the VIP. So that just a small, uh, short time that we can talk to you and uh, know more about you. And we would like to appreciate also uh, that you came to our church. Again, all the ladies from college and up, I would like to invite you to come next Sunday. We have a registration outside. You can sign up. Uh, make the right choice to attend next Sunday, okay? Uh, lunch will be at 100 pesos. That's very affordable so that you can be able to enjoy a wonderful time fellowship with all the ladies, sing, uh, college ladies and up, okay? So again, I uh, would like to request all the students to please stand and here, uh, please stand, stand here in front. All the students, again, may I request all the students to come and all particularly uh, all the young people, Yan, okay. Ayo po tayong lahat, dito po tayo sa harapan. Okay. And then, uh, you will be ushered upstairs right after our uh, closing prayer. Again, let's give them a big hand. So let's continue to pray for them and also pray for their parents as they work for their education. Okay, it's good to have an education. We pray that you will be able to finish your course. Okay? Let's all stand up, please, and let's go to the Lord in prayer. Brother David, can you please come and to dismiss us in prayer? Let us uh, pray. Dakilan Diyos at mapagpalang Ama sa oras at pagkakataon na ito, muli po kami nagpapasalamat at nagpupuri Panginoon sa napakagandang araw na ipinagkalob niyo po sa amin. Batid po namin ang inyong kadakilaan sa aming buhay. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa kapangyarihan ng inyong banal na Espiritu, especially Lord for preaching your word. Maraming salamat dakilang Diyos sa mensahe na ipresent po sa amin ni Brother Irvin today. Uh, naniwala po kami na ito po ay mananatili sa aming puso bilang isang hamon na lahat po nang nandito po sa uh, aming uh, sa, uh, simbahan Panginoon ay tiyak po na magkaroon ng kaligtasan tungo sa kanilang buhay na wala hanggan Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng inyong anak na Seso Kristo. Salamat dakilan Diyos sa uh, uh, pagbibigay niyo po sa amin ng daan upang ma-invite po ang mga aming mga mag-aaral upang sila man ay 
makapakinig at uh, maunawaan Panginoon ang inyong banal na salita. Dakilan Diyos sa mga tao po Panginoon na nandito na nangailangan pa rin po na inyong gabay at patnubay, dalangin po namin na patuloy niyo po silang kausapin Panginoon at gabayan ng inyong banal na espiritu na hindi po matapos ang araw na to na hindi po sila makakilala sa inyo bilang Diyos sa tagapagligtas. At pagpalain niyo po dakilan Diyos ang aming service buong araw na to na Marami pong kaluluwa ang maakay Panginoon tunga sa kaligtasan. Lahat ng ito ay pinagkakalupo namin sa pangalan naming tagapagligtas na Kristo. Amen. Amen.